Well, this afternoon just for a little bit of a change, rather than Fultons and Glens and Elements secret places, I thought I'd chat to you a bit about how old still does have its place in the farming world. Talk a bit about me uh, old John Deere and the plough and how we can be owned it and so forth. So the old John Deere is a 2450. 9,000 hours, 1985, 72 horsepower, basic tractor, no turbo. Been on the other man all its life. Relatively tidy for its age. And um, has a picker pitch and a few other refinements. Usually give it a bit of a service once a year. It's been quite reliable for me. I've had much wrong with it really. Doesn't do much work these days. A bit of topping. The main thing I was going to show you was the uh, attachment I've got on it today. Which is an international plough. My brother farms in Santon and on one of the farms he did or does some field work with we found this little plough lying in the haggard and uh, my father or our, our father I should say was a big international man who loved the older uh, international ploughs and uh, we couldn't find one so this one sort of came into view so we spent a while getting it going and um, we went to get some socks for it Socks are the um, these socks are those little pointy things. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. So this poor old plough was going to lie on the hedge and never be used again because it didn't have a sock for it. Anyway, we got some chatting to somebody who had one of these ploughs long time ago, and he said he used to make socks out of old wagon springs. So that's what there is an old wagon spring cut up and welded on. So about 50 acres. So here we've got a plough that's 45 years to 50 years old, a tractor that's 36 years old, and an old fart who's driving the whole lot who's 70 years old. A combination of 140 years, still able to produce a bit of a result. Got weight on because the ground is rock hard and uh, it's hard to have the ground completely out of sight. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of plough now, show you what it does. I'm obviously not going to show you that crap that went before we got it set properly. And the other thing that always amazes me too about ploughing is, generally speaking, you can start off, there'll not be an animal bird in the sky. You can guarantee once you start ploughing, they'll turn up. So that's just a little bit of plowing we've achieved with the old plough. And an old uncle of mine used to say to me, Well Ray, that plowing is not, not a problem with the plowing, that a set of discs won't cure. Meaning it won't matter how bad you plough it, the discs will make it usable. Now the big next big challenge for me is getting in and rupture myself. Now we'll see if the old cow will fire up. <coughs> I must admit, over the years, it's always been good to start. Unlike myself, Because it's set for a two wheel drive, and we plow really one way down the hill, it's a bit tedious. The hill was full of bushes before my brother sprayed it, and uh, it's going to have rape in it, which will be done shortly.
this is just a, a, a view of what you see from the tractor seat. I'm sorry about a bit jerky, I was trying to steer drive and video, not easy. As I found out, the gulls they fascinate me really, they really do, they're such an intelligent animal. And um, unfortunately some of them do get trapped in the foil. But as long as they're not completely covered they will let you free them off and fly away. All the years I've played I've only really lost one goal. I know some people think they've learned, but I enjoy them. They yeah, add to a day. They'll feast on the worms, they'll be all afternoon. And as I've said at the start, and unbelievable really, you can start ploughing. The sky will be as clear as clear can be, not a bird in sight. And within a few minutes, they'll all be there. And um, they just add to the day, I think. This field is a bit of a pain because of the telegraph pole in the middle of it. Trying to avoid, and um, unfortunately, on this lap here, we uh, lost a skimmer. If those of you know, a skimmer tends to cut the top part of the furrow off to make it uh, sit better and uh, discard or get rid of the grass. And um, it does make an easy job, but unfortunately, we have to carry on without it. This is an 11 acre field or 10 acres, it's never been played in my lifetime. And then, back, uh, my brother's going to put the rape in it. And that will be used in the winter time for uh, fattening the lambs up. So, generally you do plough this time of year. And with a bit of rain the other night did make the ploughing much easier today. It's just not quite as hard as it was. I do like to try and keep it straight, but it is difficult. And the gulls do help to disguise this slight like, crookedness of it. But I'm quite astonished with this ploughing, as I said, it's ancient. And up to last year, probably hadn't been used for. Maybe half a century, who knows? And yet I can still turn a decent fire and um, plow satisfactorily enough to make it workable. Uh, what will happen with this field when we finish ploughing it? It'll be left a little while to dry out. Headlands will be ploughed. And then the uh, power harrow, we call it, which uh, makes a tilth. And we'll probably, uh, Broadcast the rapeseed and fertilise it. And roll the seed in and then leave it. Usually it'll do okay in the first year, but it doesn't like to plow it or put in the same for the second year because of the seeds thing called club root. But animals do enjoy it and it also breaks down the soil. We'll plan again next year when we play the seeders field and uh, treat it to a dose of lime with paddles and phosphate. And turned into a more useful field. I know in this day and age we shouldn't really plough, but we don't, people like your spraying, if we don't do something with these fields, they'll end up to be just a pile of rushes, which is neither used to to man nor beast. And um, fresh grazing, generally speaking, will absorb an awful lot more uh, pollution than old grass. And also um, you can um, get away with putting less fertiliser on and no spraying because you've done all that. So there are benefits 